Hey guys, in this video, I'm trying out the MXR Zach Wild Overdrive pedal. Stay tuned. What is up you guys, it's your boy Luis Torres and today I'm trying out the MXR Zach Wild Overdrive brought to you in part by Scott Seville in Texas who went ahead and was like, hey, you wanna try out the Zach Wild? I'm like, yes. So this thing is absolutely a killer of a pedal and just like in my other videos, I'm literally just gonna use the volume and the tone knob. I'm using it strictly as a boost uh, but this thing, when I ran it through my Marshall JCM 800, which kind of lacks in the uh, gain, in the modern gain uh, stage, uh, once I added some gain to it, it was absolutely incredible. So uh, if you guys have any amplifier that needs that little gain push, this pedal is, is incredible. It's just kind of pricey, which is interesting. Uh, and yes, it's buffed out, but that's because... That's just because. Uh, so I'm actually gonna be using my Mesa triple rectifier and get this. Not only am I using my two Pile 78 microphones, but I've also incorporated the Sennheiser E906 that my buddy Dido from South Carolina shipped me a few months ago. And with those three together, if you are recording, that is incredible, super perfect. Um, and keep in mind that I'm not really doing much other than the mics, all three running into my Mackie uh, 12 channel mixer, and that's running out to my camera. So it's as direct as you can possibly get it. And if it sounds this good direct, could you imagine if you do any EQing later uh, after you've done your recording? It is incredible. So I'm actually gonna be using my Kiesel uh, Aries A6C, X, uh, A6C. Um, and aside from this pedal, I'm just running it with my Zool, uh, only because I have eventually, I have to eventually swap it out with my, <laughs> with my uh, Lichlerm, uh, what? The gate and the key. Uh, once I get that, then I'm going to get rid of the Zool and that's it. And then I, I'll literally have a much better uh, noise gate on my chain. So let me go ahead, plug this in and you guys can have a listen. So interestingly enough, I have found that if you're using one mic to record your cabinet, it forces you to go ahead and make more tracks and then move that one single mic around either the same speaker or a different one. If you're using two mics and those two mics, you have one set for the low end. So you're going to be pointing it right to the cone uh, or halfway between the top of the cone and the uh, dust cap and the other off the center. So basically on the dust cap or at the edge of the dust cap, now you have a high and a low end that you can work with uh, using the mixer. Now, when you have those two and you add a third, the third one, you can go ahead and adjust it any which way that you'd like. So I actually have this one here is my low end. That's my high end. And the Sennheiser right here is centered, but because I'm running it through a mixer, I'm actually able to lower the high end because again, the Sennheiser is smack in the center of the dust cap. So I can go ahead and even though it's not a very pronounced uh, high end, it's there. And that's just because I made sure that I adjusted the volume. So what you're hearing is literally a balance between the Pile 78s with a smidge of the Sennheiser E906 uh, high end, just with the volume set there, you know, 
pretty low, but enough that you can you can hear it. Uh, so that way, that could be your one track, which is your main sound, and then you adjust the volume. So if you guys are going speaker right into an interface, I feel like you guys are missing out a lot if you're not using a mixer. And yes, I know that a lot of you guys run mics right into a mixer and then mixer out to your interface. Or in this case with the Mackie, I can actually run uh, speakers into the mixer. And because the Mackie is also an interface, I can run that right into my uh, MacBook Air. So, you know, there's different ways to go about it. I actually run it into the mixer and into an interface because the interface is plugged directly into my camera. So I need that extra element there because I'm not able to go from the mixer right to my camera. So, you know, just to give you guys a, a little heads up. So. So, <laughs> so as usual, I'm actually going to be starting off with just the sound directly from the triple rectifier. Uh, if you have a Mesa triple rectifier, the way I have it used uh, is I have the back dialed in so I can use the output knob in the front. So in that case, it almost acts as an, attenu uh, as an attenuator. So once it's on, it varies, I guess, between about 68 decibels to about 75 decibels. So it's loud enough. Uh, and I actually have my mics with the exception of the Sennheiser that's right on the uh, grill cloth, the two Pile 78s. They're about 10 inches away from the face. You can actually see that there's a, uh, a shadow right there and actually even right there also. So they're about 10 inches away just because it's louder. Uh, and because it's louder, uh, I, I need to make sure it doesn't peak um, once it's actually recording. So, so again, Mesa first and then turning on the MXR Zach Wilde Overdrive.
Hey guys, and I'm back. So if you have ever considered using the MXR Zach Wild Overdrive pedal, I really think you're going to be incredibly impressed. And keep in mind that I've never been a an Aussie fan. I've never been a Black Label Society fan. I think he's a great guitarist. Uh, just has never been my style, and that's just me. Um, that being said, regardless of the type of metal that you're playing, this thing is super bad, but I don't know if I can say the word ASS, so <laughs> that's as close as I'll get. They've been cracking down lately. Google, Facebook, YouTube, they have been cracking it down. So guys, if you haven't tried this, I think you're really going to like it a lot, regardless again of the kind of metal that you're using. This thing just pumps out, uh, probably in the ballpark of the, the Maxon OD 808 Keeley mod, uh, is probably the closest that this can get to. Uh, and it, you know, no, no knob, no toggle, no anything. Uh, the full tone OCD is probably in the same ballpark also. Uh, but yeah, super impressed. And if you own the MXR classic overdrive, I literally just learned that there is a switch inside it that by clicking it, it will basically turn into the Zach Wild Overdrive. I guess that's the one kind of plus that that pedal has. And I totally missed it because you guys told me too late. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't, jerk face. Don't make me call you a jerk face again. And, uh, and thank you again. And as usual, guys, I will talk to you guys soon.